Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Mazda Autozam. This is also a brand new casting for 2024 and this thing first debuts in the 2024 B case. I would also like to mention that this car features in the Hot Wheels Dream Garage miniseries for 2024 and this is car number 3 out of 5 in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 1 out of 250 for 2024. Now the reason it is car number 1 out of 250, even though this car is not one of the first technically to come out for 2024 because it features in the B case and not the A case, is because this car in real life won the Hot Wheels Legends Tour in 2022 and any car which does win the Hot Wheels Legends Tour and is transformed into diecast form like this thing does receive the number 1 out of 250 spot for the year it is a new casting. So this being a new casting for 2024, it receives car number 1 out of 250 for 2024. I thought I'd mention since a lot of Hot Wheels collectors use these creative options organisers to store their cars, that this casting does not fit in this organiser at all. No matter which way you put it, the organiser just will not close with this car or the car will just not fit at all, which is really unfortunate. I know this will disappoint quite a few people. It really was disappointing for me. Since this casting is just really cool, but yeah, it doesn't fit, so I really don't know where I'm going to personally store this thing, and I know some other people will be in the same boat. But anyways, let me tell you where I actually found this car then. So I found this car in a local Smith's Toy Superstore at the price of £1.69. That's sort of the standard price here in the UK for Hot Wheels mainlines. I was super happy to find this car at such a fair and pretty low price if I'm honest. Because when I bought this thing, it was very, very new. No other stores at all had had any of the 2024 B case. And I have had this car in my collection now for about a month but yeah on my trip to Smith's I found everything I wanted so overall I couldn't have been happier but anyways let me give you some facts about the real life car so as I've already said in real life this thing won the Hot Wheels Legends Tour for 2022 and the real life car is a heavily modified 1992 Autozam Scrum and was built by Craig Maux. The Mazda Autozam Scrum is a K truck and was sold exclusively in Japan and the first model was produced with a 550cc engine that's about 0.5 litres in displacement and this engine produced 51 horsepower however this engine was quickly replaced in only 9 months and it was replaced with a more powerful 660cc engine which also produced an extra 13 horsepower bringing that horsepower figure to 64 horsepower and I would like to mention that this 660cc engine was a 3 cylinder DOHC design I would also like to mention that this car was available in both four wheel drive and also a two wheel drive when it was new. And this Texas 2 monster truck is the four wheel drive model. However, it ditches the standard slower engines and replaced it with a 7.4 litre big block Chevy V8, which was much more powerful, I can presume. We don't know any figures about the power of this car when it was stuck and also when it has been transformed into this Texas Toot, unfortunately, but we can safely presume that this thing would be pretty darn quick and have quite a decent horsepower figure due to that massive engine which does now feature in this Texas Toot model. But anyways, that is it for the fact about this car, so now let's move on to my showcase of the Hot Wheels model. Alright, so jumping straight into this showcase, um, we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car, and I would first of all like to mention the wheel choice on this thing. So this car is rolling on the six spoke off-road wheels, which have primarily been done in black, and these wheels do have a nice white lip painted onto them. Next up, for the colour of the body of this thing then, it has all been painted in glossy white. This glossy white is just standard glossy, it is not metallic at all. Next stuff for the tampo work on the side of this thing then there is plenty of it so let's get straight into this first of all i would like to mention that the side of this car's light bar which also it does feature on the real life texas toots has been tampoed in black 
and that is because the real life Texas Toots light bar is completely black, so this makes this Hot Wheels model a lot more accurate. Next up, I would like to mention that this car's door handle also does feature here, tampered in black. We also do have the Texas Toot logo also being tampered onto the side of this thing. Once again, that is accurate to the real life Texas Toots. And this logo has been done in a mixture of different colors. So the writing has been done in black, whilst the logo, which is actually the outline of the state of Texas, does feature tampered in a mixture of white, black, blue and also red. Now the reason why these colors do feature here is because these colors also do feature on the American flag there. Really, really cool logo there. Next up, we do have the Scrum logo being tampered here, primarily in black. The inside of this writing, however, is white. So don't worry if your model also has white inside of the letters. It is supposed to, it is not a misprint. And the final bit of tampo work featuring along the side of this car is the continuation of the front bumper of this thing around to the side, and that has been tampoed in black. But anyways, straight onto the plastic usage and metal casting then, there's plenty of detail here, so let's get straight into it. First of all, I would like to mention that this car's light bar does feature here in the metal casting. We also do have the roll bar of this car featuring in the truck bed here, also featuring in the metal casting. This casting also does have wing mirrors, which is very nice to see. It makes this thing a lot more realistic. Very, very good. And the final thing which I do want to mention in the metal casting is you can see the rivets, which do hold the truck bed together there. And these do appear in the form of a protrusion from the rest of the body of the car. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that the little latch, which holds the side of this truck's bed closed, does feature in the metal casting here as well. It is a rectangular shaped protrusion from the rest of the body of the car. But yes, on the real life scrum, you can actually open the side of this truck's bed. Pretty awesome, isn't it? But there you go, that is it for the metal casting, so now straight onto the plastic usage, there's plenty of detail as you can tell. So you can see that the interior plastic of this car is grey, whilst the base plastic is black, and there are a few details in the plastic which I do want to mention. First of all, this truck's side step does feature here in the grey interior plastic, and this is definitely needed for the real life car, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get in this thing, because it is very, very tall. And the only other thing which I do want to mention that you can see from the side of this thing is the bars of metal which do feature underneath the car and these bars of metal on the real life thing do allow this car to be so tall and monster truck like. But there you go, that is really it for the side of this car so now let's move straight onto the front of this thing. Alright, so taking a look at the front of this car then, there's plenty of detail here once again. There's tampo work, there's metal casting, and there's also plastic usage, so let's get straight into this. First of all, taking a look at the tampo work then, you can see on the light bar that black tampo work does continue, once again making this more accurate to the real life Texas Toots. We also do have the headlights as well as the plastic headlight surrounds of this car being tampoed here. So the headlight itself has been done in a realistic look and has been tampoed in a mixture of black, grey and white whilst the headlight surround plastic has been tampered in black. This is all realistic and accurate to the real life Texas Toots and also the standard Mazda Autozam Scrum. Next up, we do have the Autozam logo featuring here, tampered in a mixture of silver, blue and red. This is accurate to the real life Autozam logo. And the final few bits of tampo work I do wanna mention. First of all, that front bumper is completely tampered in black. And we also do have the four wheel drive logo, which has been done in a mixture of red and silver. The four has been done in red, whilst the rest of that logo has been done in silver. And we also do have the Autozam logo being tampered here as well, and this has been done entirely.
entirely in silver. Now then, the reason why these logos have been done in silver instead of chrome is because the Hot Wheels team don't have a chrome tampo paint, so instead they have to use the colour which is most similar to chrome. But now onto the metal casting then. So as you can see, the front grille of this car does feature in the metal casting here. Now as you can see, it is going for a kind of tooth design, so it's meant to look like it's got teeth and obviously makes this car look a little bit more aggressive and funky. And yes, that is accurate to the real life Texas Toot. That is a design which that real life car also does have. Of course it is modified and this design is definitely not on the standard Mazda Autozam Scrum. I would also like to mention that the four bolts which do hold the real life Texas Toots front bumper on do feature in the metal casting of this car in the form of four small protrusions from the rest of the body of the car. These four bulges have also been painted in black, much like the rest of the front bumper of this thing. But that's really it for the metal casting, so now onto the plastic usage. First of all, you can see that this casting does have windshield wipers, and these do feature in the window plastic here. And the final thing which I do want to mention is you can see the suspension components of this car from the front. And these suspension components have been done and created through the grey interior plastic. But there you go, that is really it for the front of this thing. So now let's move straight on to the next side of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the next side of this car then, it is the exact same as the previous side, so I'm not going to bore you with going over everything all over again. You can pause this video here and have a look for yourself if you are looking for something specific. If not, let's move straight on to the rear of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the rear of this car then, there is no tampo work here but there's plenty of detail in the form of metal casting and also plastic usage so let's get straight into this. So first of all, let's talk about the metal casting. So first of all, you can see that this car's rear lights do feature in the metal casting in the form of a protrusion from the rest of the body of the car. You could easily add your own details to these rear lights using something like Sharpie or acrylic paint. And the final few things which do feature in the metal casting of this truck's rear is first of all we do have the continuation of the rivets around to the rear of this car. Once again these are a circular protrusion from the rest of the body of this car. And I would also like to mention that the latches for this truck's bed do also feature here once again in the form of a protrusion from the rest of the body of this car. But that is it for the metal casting, so now onto the plastic usage. So from the rear, you can see those suspension components, once again, very similar to the front. However, there is a very distinctive detail which you can see from the rear. It is this very interesting circular shaped thing. Now what this is, is this is a brake disc and brake pads. It is the rear braking system of this truck. So yes, I did have to look this up. I had to look at images of the real life Texas Toots, but yes, that is is what that is. But anyways, that is really it for the rear of this car then, so now let's move straight onto the top of this thing. Alright, so taking a look at the top of this car then, the detail does not stop yet. First of all, you can say that this car's big block Chevy V8 engine does feature in the truck bed of this thing, and it does feature in the metal casting here. It's surprisingly detailed if I'm honest really it does look very accurate and honestly i have no complaints really good job from the hot wheels team on modeling that engine as i say i'm surprised at how good it is the final details which i do want to mention do feature in the truck bed and have been created through the window plastic which is slightly tinted so first of all you can see two nos bottles yes in real life this k monster truck is nitrous powered so yeah really really cool and we also do have three air horns in this truck's bed as well and that is where this car in real life gets the name texas toot from and here is a better look at the front of this truck's light bar as you can see all the individual lights do feature in the metal casting here in the form of a protrusion from the rest of the body of the car and these are circular as you would expect however they do not receive tampo work Oh, and I would like to mention that this truck is right-hand drive. I would also like to remind you that the interior plastic of this truck is grey. And finally, you can see this pillar, which does feature inside of this truck's cab. 
The reason that that is there is simply because Mattel are forced to put that there uh, because of health and safety regulations. Yeah, it does look pretty ugly, but uh, Hot Wheels and Mattel are forced to put that there. But that is it for the top of this car. And that is also it for my showcase of this thing. So now let's move on to my final thoughts and review on this car. All right, so now it is time for my final thoughts and review on this thing. Honestly, this casting has surprised me. Before I had it in my collection, I honestly wasn't looking too much forward to this thing, but now I have it, it's actually really, really good. There's plenty of detail here in the form of plastic usage, metal casting, and also tampo work. But I'm gonna quickly run through what I actually like about this car. So first of all, I like the color. It is accurate to the real life Texas Toots, which is always a great thing. Next up, I just love the casting. This casting is very accurate to the real life Texas toot which again is really good. I also really love the tampo work here. It's definitely plentiful and does the job very well. I would also like to mention that this casting as I've already said does have wing mirrors and windshield wipers and both of those small details being there is just a great thing and will affect my score at the end of this video in just a little bit very positively. It just makes this car look a lot more realistic and complete in my opinion. And the final thing which I do want to mention as I've already said the plastic usage is great and the wheel choice here is also really rather nice I do think that these wheels do suit this car very nicely and do give this car a monster truck look which is exactly what it is going for since the real life Texas toot is also a miniature monster truck but anyways, that really leads me onto my score out of 10 for this monster truck. So what am I going to give it out of 10? It is going to be receiving a totally deserved 9.5 out of 10. It's just so fantastic. It's very accurate to the real life Texas toot. And overall, I really don't think the Hot Wheels team could have done any better of a job on this thing. It's really not missing any details, to be honest. I really don't think it needs to go to premium, as the only thing which is missing in terms of tampo work is the rear lights. It's really, really awesome and a really nice mainline. Tons of details, you will not be disappointed. But anyways, that is really it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Remember, you can also press that notification bell so you do not see new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, or any groups who may be interested. But remember, don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is really it for this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy, and I really do hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.